Well, this is the heavily refreshed 2015 Toyota Camry. How heavily refreshed? Well, everything you see is brand new on the outside. The only body panel that has been carried over from the previous model is the roof. And they went with a more aggressive look to this car because they wanted to attract younger buyers to the Camry line. Sure, it's the best-selling passenger car in North America, but to stay on top and with lots of competition, you definitely need to refresh things. You can see right away it's got a more aggressive nose. The car's wheelbase is the same length, but they made the nose just a little bit longer. New, more aggressive looking headlights and grill. On the higher end trim levels, you actually get LED high beams and LED marker lights. Around the back there's new tail lights and it looks much more dynamic and I think they've achieved their goal of making it look like a more appealing upscale car. We're here in Charlotte in North Carolina to take this car for a test drive and inside I think you're going to notice some changes as well. Now the dimensions of this new Camry really didn't change. They made the front a little bit longer but the wheelbase relatively remains intact and that means that the interior dimensions are pretty much spot on. What they have changed is some of the refinement inside the car. So the only carryover on the front of the car is the top of the dash. It's soft touch material with the French stitching. But they've added in more with that. Tops of the doors now, soft touch materials. They have this Alcantara suede on the side and, and some trim levels, you get it in the seat inserts as well. The biggest change that people are going to interact with the most is the center console now has more real estate. The buttons are bigger, the knobs are bigger, and it's just generally easier to interact with. The old one I thought was good, but this one uh, is, is bigger. In addition, they've got a small screen in between the tack and the speedo. That's a quick glance sort of screen for the main things you use like navigation turns, radio, what have you. Now if you get the top XLE trim, it has a little secret. In the center console here, where you would typically plug in your phone and the connections for your iPod, what have you, uh, they actually have a, a place where you can put your phone in and it wirelessly charges your phone. The phone has to have that technology or you, apparently you can buy a sleeve that it sits in and once you slide it in there, it's charging. You don't have to plug it in. That's pretty cool stuff. So that's only available on the top XLE trim. So the interior updates basically just make it a little bit more tasteful. Now the Toyota Camry has never been considered a driver's car. It's always been a sensible decision for people looking for a good return on their investment when they go to sell these products and they've known to be very reliable. So more dynamic looking on the outside. They're trying to make it more dynamic to drive and in many ways they've achieved that. So what they did, they made a stiffer body, a lot more spot welds in this vehicle. They improved the spring rate, made it stiffer along with the shocks, the dampening. They also made on the base model the tires a little bit wider. They stretch the track out just a little bit so the car feels much more planted on the road and to get that back to the driver they've improved the electric power steering. Now the biggest criticism of electric power steering for years is what they call an on-center feel. That means when you're driving straight down the road you don't get a lot of feedback through the steering wheel and now we're driving around here around Charlotte uh, on the big freeways and the back roads you actually can feel what the car is doing underneath you now. It's a very big improvement. It's something that you wouldn't really notice, but you do notice it when it's not there. Also, they improved the brakes, and they claim that this is the quietest Camry they've ever produced. So on all of those fronts, they're major improvements that make the car better to live with every single day. Didn't change, though, is the four-cylinder engine. That's a carryover. It's got 178 horsepower. And the V6 is also a carryover with 268 horsepower. And the transmission is carried over as well. So it seems like it's... It's not quite a half measure, but they've stuck with what works. When this car gets a total refresh in a few years, that you're going to get new engines like direct injection, maybe CVT like they did in the Corolla. But right now, they claim it works, and it does. It's proven technology, and who's to argue with them, really? One of the reasons the Camry sells so well is they have a lot of value packed into this car, and the pricing remains relatively unchanged. It starts at $23,850 for the base model. If you get the upgrade package on the LE trim, it goes to $25,935. There is a new trim level for the Toyota Camry called the XSE, which has the appearance package on the outside that makes it look more dynamic. You've got the blacked out front grille, and that starts at $27,990. The top of the range XLE starts at $34,790. The one that's interesting is the SE model. They've dropped the price by $2,000. So the Camry is more dynamic looking on the outside. The interior refinements are welcome. It drives better than any Camry has in the past, but I think we're gonna have to wait until a full model refresh in a few years to get new engines.